Hey, what's going on guys? Do you see anything odd about this setup? Well, that's probably because my smartphone is resting there on my keyboard. But, but why? What is it doing there? Today in this video, I will show you how to use your smartphone as a whole computer. That's called Android desktop mode. It's not a very, very well-known feature yet, but it clearly should be because as you will see, it's really awesome. So the idea is actually really simple. When you're plugging your smartphone to a HDMI screen, it will launch automatically a desktop interface. With a mouse cursor, you can select icons, you can move them around and so on. You have a file manager, you have resizable windows that you can move around. It's really, really, Windows-like environment. You can yeah, you manage your files, so you can copy, paste, delete. You can min minimize the windows and they will be on the taskbar. You can browse the internet with the different, you see you have your different tabs, exactly on the same as on the computer. And you can do, well, you also have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. You can do pretty much anything you would on a normal computer. Smartphones have gotten so powerful that you can do almost anything with them. The only problem is their small screen which and mobile interface, which are limiting our productivity. I mean, I don't know if you tried, but editing an Excel, for example, is really challenging. You cannot copy paste, it's too small, your fingers are not precise enough and so on. So that's why computers are still used, because when you have this kind of thing to do, you must have a computer with a mouse and a keyboard. So the desktop mode lets you get real productivity out of your phone when you need it, exactly as a Windows computer would. I mean, this is awesome. Your computer is just always with you, right there in your pocket. And when it will be mainstream, we can imagine that there will be docking stations everywhere, like at your home, at your work, at the library, at bars, in the trains, and so on, where you will be able to just sit, dock your smartphone, and get an instantaneous desktop experience. So yeah, it's really convenient, but that's not all. There's also so many other advantages. First, and most obvious one is that you will save a lot of money as you don't need to purchase new computers. I mean, computers are not exactly cheap. So why would you buy one when you can just use your smartphone? The second advantage is for the environment. Because if you stop buying computers, well, that means less e-waste will be produced in the future. And that's really something considering its huge impact on the planet. Another thing that also for me is very important is that it will save you a lot of time as you only have to maintain one device. When you have several computers, maybe one at home, one at the office, one laptop, plus a smartphone, you need to maintain them all. I spend so much time fixing softwares and hardware bugs. Laptop not turning on, Windows blue screen, crashing computers, laggy phone, reinstalling Windows, finding drivers, installing drivers that don't work but you don't know why, reinstalling Windows again, changing the motherboard and so on. Having only one device to maintain, that's the dream. And well, if you don't maintain your devices, so you don't lose so much time, but then you throw away your devices when they have a bug or they crash, so you go back to the first advantage, which is saving a lot of money. You are saving even more money. Okay, so now let's dive into more details. What can you do or cannot do with this desktop mode? So the whole point, as I told you, is to be able to do all the thing you would on a computer. So for all the basic stuff, that's no problem. You can, you have internet, as I just showed you, you have YouTube, you can watch movies on Netflix, you have Excel, Word, PowerPoint, all those kind of applications, there's no problem. So you can edit documents, uh, edit spreadsheets, make presentations. You even have 
open office which has um, which has a, a build for android you can use all the different apps of your smartphone like google maps and video games all the messengers it starts to get more difficult if you need some specific programs that only have a windows version that's the main issue with desktop mode today most software makers have not released an Android version for their softwares. But there's a way. There's even two ways, actually. First, you can use a Windows emulator. That will do the trick for programs that are not too much power intensive, like old video games like Diablo 2, Heroes 3, and light desktop softwares. The other way is to use a cloud computer like Shadow. This service is a remote Windows desktop with a very powerful spec on which you can run any Windows program, even the latest games uh, with most demanding spec. So actually you can do pretty much, you can do anything you would on the computer. Now I'd like to show you the docking station I'm using right now. It's called the Keydock. It's a mechanical keyboard that is specially designed to be a docking station for smartphone. I designed it so that it would be the perfect docking station and at the same time the best keyboard possible. So let's unconnect the cable so I can show, show you the different feature. So as I told you, it's a first the first thing that is pretty obvious is that it's a keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard that gives a great typing experience and it also has RGB backlight so you, you can choose the colors and even cool effects. But the speciality of this keyboard is of course to have a USB-C hub hidden inside. So you have all the connectors that you would require on the computer. You have four USB connectors, a SD card reader, an audio jack connector. Here is an Ethernet, which is very convenient because you can have the full speed of Ethernet. And for the video, you have VGA for old screens, HDMI for newer screen, and that's the data input. So you can connect your smartphone, but you can also connect to a computer or to a laptop like a MacBook, which don't have many connectors. So I also tried to add a lot of uh, small features that would be uh, really awesome. So for example, this pencil holder and a secret storage right there. It's small things, but I, I think they make the whole thing cool. And also one very important feature is that you can add a, a SSD drive to Kidoc. So when you connect your smartphone to the Kidoc station, you can get one terabyte more for stocking movies or files, for example. So that's pretty convenient and other small features like nice rubber pads, double level legs, which have two levels, so you can choose the tilt and so on. So, but the main point of Keydock is to bring an awesome docking experience, obviously. I will launch Keydock on Kickstarter soon. So if you're interested by this project, Please subscribe to the newsletter on horizon.io. It's most important to subscribe because it let me know how many of you are interested in this project. Also, if you subscribe, you will be the first to be notified of the launch on Kickstarter. So we, you will be able to enjoy the early bird prices. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.